All right, you guys, so just wanted to get you a quick video up here. Got a bunch of parts in the mail here for the Sportster build. So just wanted to get out in the garage and get these put off to the side. Got the chrome rear axle for the bike. We also got the swing arm mounting kit and we also got some gaskets. But I wanted to get this video up for you guys because I'm super excited with what Harley is doing with these new CVO models. Absolutely breathtaking the way that they're designing the simplicity, but also the sophistication that's going into the variable valve timing. So I wanted to get you guys this video. up. There's a channel out there in the friction zone. So I came across this video today while I was getting in the shower. I don't have a lot of time in my day, so I try to get my information in while I can. Well, this video popped up on my feed. I watched it. I was not aware of uh, the channel in the friction zone, but I will put a link up in this video. I highly recommend you guys go check this video out. I wanted to get you guys up the video that he posted. So he was able to go through and he'll walk you through step by step how to get into the service uh, area of Harley's website to where he found this information. But I put the video up because I feel like the variable valve timing is going to be absolutely game changing uh, going forward here for Harley Davidson. I'm a newer rider in terms of Harley Davidson. I've only been riding the Harley for about eight years. So I'm extremely excited to see them going this route. They mentioned in the video how the car industry has been using variable valve timing for the last decade. So absolutely amazing, incredible information. And it shows how simple the function of the variable valve timing is. The 121 VVT system is neatly packaged in the cam compartment and is of a similar design to the Revolution Max VVT engine. The proven base design has been applied in the automotive sector for over a decade and was downsized in partnership with Borg Warner for use on a Harley Davidson pushrod engine. Let us start by reviewing the parts. Starting at the left, there is a new assembled camshaft with different lobe profiles and a redesigned outboard journal. The cam support plate is the same. The compact phaser is integrated into the cam drive sprocket. The cam is driven off the crankshaft with the same sprocket used on previous models. There is a timing wheel with slots that facilitates position indication by means of a new cam position sensor. The center bolt secures the phaser to the cam while also serving as the oil control valve for oil distribution to the phaser. The center bolt is actuated by a solenoid mounted to the cam cover. The cam cover is new. So now that we've named the parts, let's take a look at the oil flow through the system. One of the benefits of this VVT design is that it uses low oil pressure and requires very little makeup oil to function. Oil is pressurized by the oil pump, which is fed to the cam support plate. Oil is distributed through drillings and the cam support plate to feed the cam journal. Oil flows into the end of the cam through oiling holes. That oil has passed to the center bolt oil valve as the solenoid actuates the center bolt valve, oil is distributed to the phaser. Inside the phaser, there is a rotor and an outer housing that rotate relative to each other. The relative rotation occurs by cam torque actuation. Cam torque actuation is when the cam rotates back, when valve spring force is applied when going up the cam lobe resulting in less cam advance, or alternately. The cam has a tendency to move forward when valve spring force is applied coming off the cam lobe, resulting in more advance. The degree by which they rotate is controlled hydraulically by filling and emptying chambers separated by sealing veins. The center bolt valve directs more oil in the trailing chambers and less into the leading chambers to advance timing. Alternately, the center bolt valve directs less oil to the trailing chamber and more into the leading chamber to reduce timing advance. This balance of oil between chambers allows for an infinite range of micro adjustments in real time within 20 degrees of cam rotation, which is 40 degrees of engine rotation. Controls of the system are simple and reliable. The cam position sensor provides constant position feedback to the ECM, which commands the control solenoid based on all the other system inputs. 
I was very skeptical at first about the variable valve timing. I thought that it was going to be way too complex for Harley-Davidson and may lead into some kind of issues down the road. That is not the case. Uh, the design is extremely simple. The way that it works is extremely simple. And the only thing that you have to worry about reading information back to the computer of the motorcycle, to the ECM of the motorcycle, is the cam position sensor. So this is very simple. I think that it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I think that with it being about 96% mechanical, except for that uh, cam position sensor, I think the longevity is gonna be there. I think it's going to uh, outlast a lot of the other changes that they made. And I think this is the future for Harley Davidson. You're getting real time micro adjustments made to your timing. I wanted to get you guys this video up as soon as I seen it because it's very interesting. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. Let me know if you think they're making a move in the right direction. We have three out of the four CVO models that are coming to uh, my dealership sold already. There's only one left on the list. I don't know how true that is now because people are really excited about these bikes. I think the 121 engine is the answer that Harley needs for this new generation. I know there's a lot of people out there posting videos about go woke, go broke, uh, criticizing Harley Davidson. I'm not... 100% in bed with the way that they do their marketing, but I am 100% in bed with the research and development. I highly like what they're doing. I think that the design, the engineering behind it is right where Harley needs to be right now. I'm excited to see next year, maybe the variable valve timing being accessible to the lower model touring bikes. I think that'll be revolutionary. It'll be game changing. The amount of power and performance you're gonna get out of something so simple as variable valve timing. So you guys watch this video. I'm gonna have another one coming up here soon. Got a bunch of cool ideas in the works. Uh, got a bunch of parts coming for the Sportster. So I do have the front suspension coming. I picked the wheels up as you guys have seen. They're gonna get ready to go out the powder coating. We're gonna get this bike dialed in. Probably won't be riding it here for about six months, but I just wanted to let you guys know what progress and what steps we're making. Let me know how you feel about Harley Davidson and their variable valve timing and leave some comments below you guys. Much appreciated. Enjoy your weekend and have a great and safe ride.